Today, I want to share something with you that can truly, truly change your life in this very moment or tomorrow or the next day if you start applying it. You know, a way that your life will change that you have never imagined it before. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about God's nine fruit of the Holy Spirit. These are gifts that God has given us through the Holy Spirit. And it's when we allow them to grow and thrive within us, they start to transform form not you know just how we live but how we see the world believe me on this one i kid you not i've been applying these lately and i you know in the last few weeks i've slowly been seeing these transformations you know and you know just everything in general like how we interact with others and just how overall we experience god's love the fruits of the spirit aren't you know just abstracted ideas you know they're powerful qualities that can guide us in every area in life so you know whether you're feeling overwhelmed you know searching you know for a direction or just simply you know wanting to deepen your faith you know these fruits can bring in incredible peace joy and purpose into your life so that's what we're going to be discussing today so let's dive into what are the nine fruits of the you know from god and how they can transform you from the inside out the first fruit of the spirit is love now i'm not just talking about you know romantic love or even love we have for our friends our family no 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 the kind of love that god is talking about here is the unconditional love it's the love that reflects god heart a love that is selfless patient and kind even when times are very very hard when we allow god's love to fill us we become capable of loving others the same way imagine what our relationships could look like if we loved without you know expecting anything in return the kind of love that transforms us because it teaches us to see others through god's eyes with compassion understanding and grace the second fruit from God is joy. This isn't just about feeling happy when things are going well. The joy comes from the Holy Spirit, you know, something much deeper. It's a joy that persists even in difficult times. It's a joy that says, I may not have everything you want, but I know God is with me, and that is simply enough. The joy transforms your life because you rise from all of your circumstances. It allows you to live with hope and positivity it e even when life throws challenges your ways you know when you carry this heavy amount of joy you become a light to those around you shining with the peace that comes from trusting god the next and third fruit from God is peace. You know, in a world filled with right now chaos, anxiety, and uncertainty, I mean, just look all over the world. Another big one is obviously all the war is going on. You know, in times of these, you know, how, you know, fundable is peace, you know, and not just any peace, um, but the peace that only God can provide. This isn't about having, you know, no problems, obviously. It's not about having an inner, you know, calm, knowing that. God is in control no matter what. When we lean into God's peace, we can walk through the storms with a sense of sensitivity that's unshakable. The peace transforms your life because it shifts your focus from fear and worry to trust and faith. You start to realize that no matter what comes, God will always be by your side, my friend. Now this next fruit is one a lot of people struggle with and you could definitely practice, you know, this one might take a lot of practice for some, but the fourth fruit is patience. This one can be obviously very tough. In a world that values instant gratification, patience can feel like a very rare fruit. Uh, but when we cultivate patience, we become more like Christ. We start to trust God's, you know, timing instead of our own. The patience isn't just about, you know, waiting for the things to happen. It's about how we wait. Are we frustrated and anxious or are we resting in the fact that God ultimately knows what's best for us? Patience transforms your life by teaching you to trust God's process. It allows you to slow down and appreciate the journey, knowing that everything unfolds in perfect time. One thing I also had a revelation in life is, you know, when we 
grind towards a goal whatever that may be for you we always just think about the end goal and all that but you have to also cherish and celebrate the little progressions in the beginning middle and wherever it may be we also need to celebrate those as well the fifth fruit from god and unfortunately in the and also in the world we live in today we don't really see that much anymore and that fifth fruit is kindness you know kindness is another fruit that can change the way you see the world when you start to practice kindness you begin to see others not as obstacles or competitors but as people in need of love and grace just like the fairy person on the other side of this screen that's you by the way <laughs> kindness isn't just about being nice it's about choosing an act with compassion even when it's inconvenient it's you know reaching out to someone who is hurting giving those that are in need and offering a listening ear and here's the thing when you spread kindness it's not only, you know, it transforms the lives of others, but it also transforms you. And, you know, you know, like in Call of Duty, you rank up in those prestige. It's kind of like that. You know, you just start to see the beauty in every person and every situation, regardless what the situation is. The sixth fruit we're going to be talking about from God is goodness. You know, goodness is about integrity. It's, you know, living in the way that reflects God's character, doing what's right. And even when no one is watching you, you know, when we embrace goodness, we align ourselves with God's truth and we make choices, you know, that honor him. The fruit of spirit transforms your life because it ultimately pushes you to live, you know, authentically. You begin to prioritize what is right uh, over what is easy. And by doing so, you experience the freedom that comes from living in alignment with God's will. The seventh fruit from God is faithfulness. You know, faithfulness is about being trustworthy and loyal and not just to others, but to God, it's about staying committed to his path. And even when it's super hard or when we don't see the immediate results, we are faithful and we show God that we trust him in everything. Even when we don't understand his plans, this transforms our life because faithfulness builds a solid foundation. It gives us strength and resilience to keep on going even when the road is tough. And God always honors those who remain faithful. The eighth fruit from God is gentleness. You know, in the world we live in today, I really do believe that gentleness gets misunderstood as weakness. But in reality, it's the quite it's quite the opposite. Gentleness is a strength under control. It's choosing to respond with care and understanding, even when the situation might, you know, call for anger or frustration. When we approach life with people with gentleness, we create space for healing and connection. This fruit transforms your relationships, making you, you know, approachable and, you know, compassionate, reflecting the gentle heart of God. The last and final ninth fruit from God and another tough one for a lot of people to tackle is self control this one is super key because it what allows all of the other fruits to ultimately grow and flourish self-control it's about discipline and the ability to govern your thoughts actions and emotions in a way that honors god when we practice self-control we resist you know the temptation to react impulsively or give it into the destructed habits this one transforms your life because it empowers you to make wise choices. It keeps you grounded, you know, focused, and aligned with God's purpose for your life. So there you have it. Those are the nine fruits of God and the Holy Spirit. Each of these fruits is a gift meant to help us live in a way uh, that not only honors God, but brings joy, peace, transformation into our lives.
Imagine what your life would look like if you allowed these fruits to just grow and thrive. How would our relationships change? How would our mindset shift? You know, the good news is you don't have to do this alone as well. The Holy Spirit is always with you, ready to help you cultivate these fruits and live a life that reflects God's love and grace. Thank you and God bless you for taking just a few moments out of your day checking out this video. I pray that, you know, Hopefully this video or message resonates with you and hopefully if, if it does feel free to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone maybe that could use a little bit of a reminder of God's love. And if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe for more videos that inspire and encourage your walk with God. I also would love to continue this conversation in the comment section below as well. So uh, if you want to elaborate any input, feedback, advice, whatever it may be, I love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I also want to try to encourage the comment sections, you know, to um, engage more of you guys. So if you guys want, feel free to put any topic matter you would love for me to discuss in a future video. I also would love to do that as well. Remember, when you allow the fruits of the spirit you know take root in your heart your life will transform in ways you have never possibly imagined that's a promise i'm adam representing team sos god bless you stay blessed and you know in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night i'm adam signing off and i'll see you on the next one peace